Welcome to the Community Partnership Network, a monthly telecast featuring volunteer, alumni, business, and community partnership activities in the New Orleans public schools. I'm Glenn Sargent, Administrator for the Office of Alumni and Development. Some months ago, I received an email. Someone came to me and said in that email, you, know, you ought to go to this site because there's something very interesting going on. And so I went to that site and realized that I was looking at an internet-based yearbook. And so as I began to look at that internet-based yearbook, I said to myself, hmm, you know, this is either going to be a very pleasant experience or it's going to be a very unpleasant experience and to my surprise and to my pleasure it was a great experience and we're here to talk tonight about that experience with the editors of the yearbook we have to my right Joanne Coleman and to her left Alan Kimbrell classes members of the class of 1967 of George Washington Carver High School and Alan, you told me that I mispronounced your name earlier. It's Alan Kimball, right? Right, that's correct. From the Fugitive. That's but correct. you're not a fugitive from the class of 1967, are you? That's correct. Tell us about your internet yearbook. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, it, it is fantastic. Unfortunately, because of the, uh, the storm, the hurricane uh, in 1965, I think it 65 was. 65 Hurricane Betsy. Hurricane Betsy, yeah. right. There was a great flood, and the school was flooded out. And the damage was so devastating that uh, in the aftermath, we could not put together a yearbook. Uh, if we go up forward about 35 years, uh, we're on the internet, and I happened to come across Joanne, who I hadn't seen in all of that time. Mm -hmm. And she commented, what a horrible thing that we didn't have a yearbook. So I thought of thinking about it with my background in computers and said, why not we create one on the internet? That was As a great result, job. Yes, that was yes. a really great job. And Joanne, you began talking with Alan, correct? Yes, I did. We emailed each other for a while, and then I decided I would give him my phone number. I said, let's call and talk. Mm -hmm. And uh, he called me, and we started talking about the uh, yearbook thing, and we made up our minds that we're going to go ahead and do it. And with uh, some of the photographs that I had kept from my high school days, and some information that we had gathered, we just decided we'd go ahead and put it up and see what would happen. Memories. Memories. Have fond yeah. memories. Very good memories. Yes. And as a matter of fact, memories that you think you forget about, but you don't, you remember them. And that's the best part about this, it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. This yearbook gives people a good feeling. Really? At a time in our lives when we really need to have these memories brought back up. So um, I think it's uh, something that people will really enjoy. They need to go over there and look at it. Well, we have um, our computer screen here, and we're going to take a look at the uh, Internet Yearbook. And um, right now what we're looking at is the um, title page from the yearbook. And is there anything you want to talk with us about on this title page, Alan? Uh, it's an introduction. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think that uh, in terms of us having graduated in 67, yes. uh, our members have not many of us have not spoken in all of those years mm -hmm. so we needed to put a powerful statement which would reintroduce you know our, our ourselves to them and to say well this is to replace that which we never had now for those Carver graduates who are not seeing you in what 33 years that's correct we, we have photos of you right oh yeah. Uh, yeah they're somewhere in there they're, they're somewhere in there <laughs> well we're well, gonna have to look for those photos certainly i think you certainly i, I tell you I, i've seen your photos you, you look you look great i mean well, you really you. look great yeah i mean thank alan you. you look the same <laughs> joanne you look the same i recognized you right away and the photos have been pulled up and someone is bringing up a photo right now who who, who do we have on the screen alan oh, i know him oh yes <laughs> yes 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 a handsome and debonair looking many, individual many pounds ago many many pounds no alan mm. he's seriously now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then we're going to have joanne coming up very soon on our internet yearbook now to me what i found interesting is when i began talking with you i assumed that right. you were living here in New Orleans. Right, that's and right. now we have Joanne. 
You were Miss Carver, right, Joanne? No, I was oh, not. Oh, Joanne, you were so beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, you could have been Miss. You could have been Miss New Orleans. My oh, goodness, Miss thank America, you. Miss Universe. Miss America, clearly. <laughs> but you know, the thing that I assume that you were living here in New Orleans, right? And then you're living in Orlando, and That's you're right. living in Texas, in correct? Texas. Denton, Houston, Texas, Texas. Houston. Houston, Texas. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And and then I made another assumption. Right. I I assumed that you two had had not only talked, but that you had met and worked this right. all out. And until last week, it's the first time the two of you had met face to face in over 33 years. Yes, that's And correct. you put together this yearbook. That's yes, right. Tell us how you did it. Well. Using 21st century technology. Absolutely, absolutely. Both of us were but, experienced in computers and we had the equipment. So um, I uh, put my energy into getting the information by making trips to New Orleans, mm -hmm. visiting classmates, getting whatever I can to try to put the history together in the photos. And Alan, of course, he did all the web uh, designing. So Alan is your webmaster. Web yeah, he's <laughs> behind the computer and he's putting the things in here, mm -hmm. all the photographs and all that technical stuff. Yes. And um, I do a lot of the leg work. And Alan also does a lot of editorial pieces over there. Mm -hmm. And um, between the two of us, though, we pretty much got it working pretty good to where we mix well. Yes. You know, and we do our jobs, and that's that's the results of it. It's what you see now on the on the computer. You know, it's 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 hard to explain to people what it's like if you don't have a yearbook, especially when you get to thirty something years. Yes. Because you know you've gone through life, and things are not so important. Memories, relationships are important. Yes. You don't have a yearbook, you're not able to open something and you take a trip down memory lane. It's something we didn't have and she felt it and I felt, I read it in her words and of course with my background with computers, I said, well, why can't we just build one on the internet? So we started working with that plan and it started to materialize. Uh, what has resulted is something that's even more fabulous than a regular yearbook because it's a living, evolving yearbook. And, uh, you know, we've yeah. met it's, with a great deal of It's not like success. a hard copy, in other words. A hard copy, you have just that particular time you spent at Carver mm -hmm. and pictures and stuff, and then that's it. This one continues on to show your reunions, and it uh, also expands out into uh, your family life, right. your businesses. There's a business registry over there where you can advertise your business. Uh, to your classmates, um, there's just so many different things. There's an area where you can go on trips. or letters or talk about stories you remember from high school. Well, great story on, on your internet yearbook. <laughs> you you want to tell us about your date? <laughs> your prom date? <laughs> it's really... Um, and we're going to ask our webmaster to, to try and find that, that story for us. I really feel bad about that. Um, it was a last minute date. Uh, I did